Technology usually makes our lives easier, but when it comes to parking at apartment complexes, many people have found the online registration process makes them feel targeted by tow truck companies. In a follow-up to our Fox 4 investigation, the advisory board for the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation plans to discuss this issue at its next meeting. Fox 4's Lori Brown is live with more. Lori. Clarice, an advisory board member with TDLR says that they are seeing an increase in cars towed related to the online registration process. And as we first saw in our 2019 investigation, a lot of people's cars were being towed for typos when they registered. So it all started when I was visiting a friend at their apartment complex. After Ronnie Lewis experienced how aggressive tow truck companies can be at a southern Dallas apartment complex, he says he knew he needed to speak out. Came back to get my car. It was gone. I honestly thought it was stolen. Lewis parked in a spot labeled future resident after the apartment office was closed. He showed us an image of how all the visitor spaces in the complex were blocked by large trash bins. That was all throughout the complex. With no signs warning Lewis could be towed, a judge ruled in his favor that the apartment complex owed him $156. It's a very tedious process if you don't know the law or if you get anxious at the thought of, I got to go to court, do I need an attorney? And the amount at issue isn't worth the fight. I had my money back and I was like, all right, I'll let this go. But then I came across your story and I was like, this is more than or bigger than just me. A Fox 4 investigation in 2019 found many people were getting towed after they tried to register their cars through online forms, but inadvertently typed a wrong letter or number. So if I type in my license plate number and it corrects one letter, then they ex they to to our cars anyway. Many of the people we spoke with lived in low income apartment communities. Lewis, who is a pharmaceutical legal analyst in Las Colinas, says he feels he has a duty to speak up for people who may not know their rights. The law is the same regardless of whether I'm in El Paso, Oak Cliff, Las Colinas, but the treatment of the people appears to differ and that's the reason why I've been digging into this so much more because everyone should be treated fairly. Lewis wants more state oversight of towing procedures. On Wednesday, he got the ball rolling with the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation Advisory Board. I'm not asking that vehicles not be towed. I'm asking for the board and TDLR to review what can be done to reduce the human error aspect and bring structure to the process. Board member Ken Ulmer later recommended adding the topic to the board's next agenda. I only think it's an issue that we probably need to be discussing and that we probably need to be prepared for. Uh, I know that we're seeing a lot more towing based on these electronic uh, visitor programs. If you think your car was wrongly towed, you can file a complaint with TDLR. You can also request a hearing with a justice of the peace in the county where the towing occurred. But you must make that request before the 14th day after the car was towed. A complaint with TDLR, on the other hand, can be filed at any time. We put a lot more resources at our website, fox4news.com. Clarice. Glad you did the story and glad you introduced us to Ronnie Lewis. Thank you.